Alright. <clears throat> Welcome to episode 2 of Pocket Mirrors. Uh, last episode, I think I unlocked some doors. So, I'm gonna try it here. Oh, it works. Nice. Alright, pumpkin. Drawing is based upon perspective, which is nothing more than a thorough knowledge of the function of the eye. Aren't I smart? Okay. You are. 1875, the painting of an elderly woman surrounded by thorns. Fate. Grap grasping the dagger buried into her chest, a lady sings at the bottom of the sea. Poor girl. Alright, what you got? Did you know pumpkin flowers are edible? Hmm. The painting of an important female was surrounded by various young girls. This one came to me. Hmm. A job with crimson flames. Salvation, satisfaction, woman sits on the throne wrapping her hands around the expressionless mouse child's neck. Ooh. Pumpkin charm. Nice. I don't know what that is. Can I eat that? Is that food? I wouldn't mind having my insides scooped out as long as I could become a yummy. You do you. Attribution, reunited the golden universe, with a newborn child. What the hell? Uh, passionately amongst the flames it's been painted over can I do something dim light over it. okay bridal virgin 191666 small carved wooden chair wearing nothing but an airy white veil various women engage in a heated celebration dancing over the corpses of numerous men destiny lady sings so well the mis mischievous grin on her lips it says, oh, oh no. But that painting was the first one. It was similar to the first one. Whatever. Nice. Alright. Sister Lee, 1844, the painting of a confident woman. Such a pretty lady. You do you. Is there anything here? Oh, there is. Ooh, is that an eye patch? Hatred, 1844, a painting of a oh, eye patch. What do you know? She seems to be upset. Anything here? Nope. Can I leave? Hey, little girl, get back here. The painting talks? Nani? Yeah, what you want? Excuse me, miss? Yes. Could you please show me what you got there? What should I do? Uh, huh, YOLO. Alright, just please be careful. Damn it. How did, I, how did I know? How did I know? I'll be taking this. Thank you very much. Give it back, man. No, please give it back. How far are you willing to go? I don't know. I'll do anything. Just please give it back. Oh, apparently everything. How generous of you. I'll gladly take, up, take you up on that offer then. I'm sick and tired of being stared at. I command you to take that woman's left eye if you want to live. Resist and we shall take it. How can you take mine if you're just a painting? What do I do? This woman's left eye? I don't know what to Oh, her eyes. Yellow. I'm so sorry. Curse you, Analyse. Analyze. Wait, oh, what the hell? Oh. Oh. Okay. That's nice. Uh, am I supposed to run there? I'm gonna try running. And then get the pumpkin charm again. Do -do -do -do. Get that. Alright, so as soon as I pluck it out, we run. Like, pluck it out. Alright, alright, so I guess I just need to talk to her to activate the thing. Yup. Alright, you want. Excuse me, miss. Blah blah yada yada yada. Give her. Alright, alright, her laugh. Nice, I like it. 
I'll be taking this. Uh, please give it back. Anything generous, command, resist. What do I do? Okay, okay. Nice eye, pa uh, nice um eye patch. Take it. All right, let's go. Gas, gas, gas. I'm gonna step on the gas tonight. I'll fight and be a lover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oof. Oof. All right. Eyeball. Boop. What the hell? Let me see. Screw that. I need to get my watch back. Oh. Oh. Oh ho 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 I am not French. I'm being racist. Alright. This faction been ripped apart. The lady who once sat there is no longer recognizable. I'm so sorry. I hear laughter. I don't like that. Serves her right. From now on, always be number one. This can't be. Here, you can have your little. It's not a toy, excuse me. I'm gonna run away. I don't like the laughter. Come on. Alright. We Gucci. Save again. I don't wanna die again. Now this door should be open as well or can I cut this now? Nope. My hand. Uh, hey, stop touching it. Ah. Alright. Bam. This is an eyeball floats murky waters. Okay. Is there anything in the lantern? Nope. Ice. I want to see it once more. There was once a certain illusion I saw in a mirror. I once knew so well. There were a pair of crimson colored irises accompanied by only their reflection. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking in the short amount of time they had stayed, staring directly at me and no one but me. All I can remember from the day I was born are a few memories forged encounters which I have never experienced in my forgotten existence. Recollections which didn't belong to me. Sorry, I was distracted there for a moment. In all honesty, who am I? To whom do these memories belong, I wonder? They are certainly not mine, and yet, here they dwell, inside this small room where I sit. Ever reminded of these fabricated crimson irises, which we played once again, once and again. A thousand times has such a memory been showcased inside my small mind. And yet I still can't reach any conclusion other than my complete existence has always been and always will remain controlled by those same eyes. I like the drawing. Living in the small room, I remember a dream I once had. A, tremend a tremendously vivid one. A red carpet had been laid before my feet, which guided me towards a single opening on a darkened wall, one that seemed to advance further and further with every step I took. In an instant, I was thrown into a world I did not know existed. On the other side of the gap, I found a reflection, my reflection. Silky brown hair covered my back, braided into thick braids on each side of my head, which beautifully framed my cherry red eyes. Standing before me was a little girl dressed in fancy frilly clothing. Who was this person I had never seen? Could it be me? I recall lifting my small hand and touching my own cheek, such a gesture engraved itself into my memory. This soft texture of my skin. The free and effortless movement I had made to raise my hand made me realize I could move. Such a strange sensation of empowerment filled my soul and body, leading me to a feeling of excitement which led my imagination astray. I was... Not only was I real, I was alive. That little girl reflected on the mirror was me, and I could breathe and live. Wait a minute. Life dwelled inside my body, and yet... As I turned my head to look outside, the same light which had peeked into my small room had blinded me once again, leaving me inside my old room where I stayed. 
Deprived of senses, deprived of a sensation I once knew as life, I stayed. Please, show me the light. I want to see it once more. I want to live. Such a sad story. So there was this girl that wants to see the light once again. Doctors have yet to find a way to successfully transplant an eyeball. The uh, opt optic nerve that connects the eye to the brain is too sensitive to be safely reconstructed. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna end the video here. I will work on part three um, soon. But yeah, episode two will end here. And yeah, I'll see you guys next part of this video thing. Yeah, bye bye.